think. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. All I know is that my baby fell down. Uh, you don't blah. Are you alright? Did you sprain your ankle? Ah! Uh, blood. My crimson breast. It craves blood. Be silent. Is he anemic? Angel, you're white as a sheet. Let's go to the infirmary. Why take him to the infirmary? I thought he's... I'm never going to get used to the new layer of the infirmary. Oh. Continue. A dodgy car. Yes. It is a, a really extremely, what? Well, yeah, a extremely clumsy female. <gasps> I was completely wrong. Though, who? What would you rather call him? A demon, a ghost, or a really clumsy female? A demon ghost. Exactly. And Jill is fainted complete by the time we arrive. Oh, Jesus. He usually starts ranting about demons' balls or something if we get too close to him for me. So maybe it's better that he's out for now. So I brought him here. Is the doctor gone? Oh, my God. Yes, he's overseas for a week doing research. Wow. The one time I need him, he's gone. Oh, my I I'm God. watching the shop while he's out. And when we don't oh! need him, he's there. Oh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hello, Miro and Gaku. It's always good to see these two. The boys seem a little sluggish today. They do? Wait, they're boys? Jeremy's almost over after all. I think they're starting to wind down pretty soon after Christmas. I thought it was a girl and a boy. That's what I thought too, but apparently they're not. Apparently we don't know genders. Okay then, they're boys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Actually, are they boys? I hadn't As really wondered about their gender before. Just what are they? Um, could you take a look at Angel then? Hmm? Isn't this just low blood pressure? It does look that way. Which isn't to say it could be dangerous. Let's let him rest for a while. Thank you for bringing him here, Monami. I'll be here when he wakes up, along with those two. Thank you, Yuya. Merry Christmas, what about us? He's been going to see that magazine error all month. He said he was going for ordeals to show the way in times that must come. Oh. Wow. But why is he so weak after all of a sudden? I'm really worried. Maybe I'll talk to Mr. Nanaki about it. Hmm? That is a little worrying. I know, he's busy working on manuscripts, but I feel like it's still strange for him to be so weak. That is true. Yeah. I mean, we've seen how energetic my bird is. He should Even not when he's hurt. Exactly. He should not be this bad. Something's wrong with him. He was really energetic even when things went hectic before the convention. I can't believe that he gets so drained so quickly. This school does encourage independence in students and I don't like to interfere with someone who's working hard on something, but... What did you think of that golden pheasant, Bakacha? Mr. Bigger Chicken Doo Doo? Oh, yes, that one whose name you can't say. He even remembered his name! Amazing! I only met him the once at the snowbound battlefield. But my tribal instincts are telling me he's too dangerous to let of sight. Really? Yes. My quail instincts are telling me the same. Why didn't you say so earlier? Jeez. No he was reason. too busy sleeping. With that, and he probably didn't want to upset Andrea because of how excited he was. Yeah. Right, okay, what are we going to do, Yui, is you're going to go in there, you're going to grab that golden feather, you're going to tip him upside down, and you're going to shanghai him. <laughs> I'm wow. just saying, if you hurt my bird, I'll kill him. Hmm? Do you think you could go with um, Angel next time he goes to the company, Bakachan? I suggested that to Angel, but he said it was something he had to face alone. Maybe the other one's threatening him, you remember? He threatened Yui. He did? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe he's scaring him. But I can't just leave this as it stands. I'll go undercover and tail him. How are you going to go undercover? You're a human. J hmm, just like a detective in a movie. Let me know if anything. Z oh, God damn it. It's been so long. Wow. Okay. Okay then. Fine, fine. Okay, we're, we're, we're going really quick. By my titles, the Apostle of the Blue Sky is a blur. I shall courageously tail and deal into the Golden Weekly headquarters and conduct investigation of the most convert nature. How? The building is right across from here, so there's no way I'll miss him as he goes in. Oh, there he is. And Jill enters the building. A massive manual envelope under his wing. Is that full of comic pages? Time to go in after him. You are a human. The building is actually the secret base of an evil organization. What? Is what I would say if it were. However, it looks perfectly oh. normal. <laughs> God damn well, it, Yui. Thank you for trolling us. There is, there are a few birds walking around inside, but nothing suspicious. I can't imagine Mr. Whatever it is fitting into such a completely ordinary looking company, really. Never mind a sore thumb. He must stick out like a thumb that's been nearly lost in a freak of machinery accent and is now attached to elaborate bandages and last ditch efforts to save it. That's weird. Oh, look, 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 there they are. Shh, everybody, shh. Yep, he stands out. I just thought I'd point out of the obvious because clearly I was, I was lying about the whole entire thing about it being an evil building. Hello, I'm so glad you can make it today. I've been waiting for you. Indeed, it is time for us to carve out a new creation under the auspices of the spirit of the reason. Golden Wing Messenger. Yes, yes, of course. Let us engage in creative acts fueled by the finest substance of our imagination. I secured a special room for our meeting today as well. This way, if you please. Hmm. The incredible, conspicuous golden pheasant and the similarly conspicuous bleeding heart dove disappears into a door at the end of the extensively ordinary hallway. The conversation just now didn't sound at all suspicious, but my danger sense is tingling. Ah! <laughs> After spider them! Spider senses tingle. This is the room, huh? There's a light on above the door. It says... Operating? What? What? Yui, get in there! Save my bird or I'll kill you! This is a publisher's office? Right? Not a hospital? You, I don't care. What? What? No one is answering me. In any case, Anjil's in danger. Enough sneaky, it's time for action. Loud ones! Coming through! Wowie. In the very unmeeting room, like, room... Are Angel unconscious and what is it now? The operation is in progress. Didn't you see the sign outside? The flashy pheasants drawing blood from him. What are you doing? You're not drawing any manga at all. You're just drawing blood. We are in the midst of a grand creative act. A beautiful artwork fashioned of his blood and mine. Saying creepy stuff like that while draining away at somebody's lifeblood is an awful lot like a certain fluffy headache. Heretic. Release him! Now! Or I'll take him. Or I'll take him here by force. Oh my, how gallant. Would you be his sweetheart then? No! We two are linked by the calm of our previous lives. Aw, oh, that's so sweet, Yui. They may oh. not be connected, but I sure am to him. He's my favourite breed. Get your pretty baby mitts off mine. I'm the Geki. Exactly. Hmm. I see it. Your worldwide view is every bit as unique as his. But it's of a feather, eh? I will punch you. I thought your face was familiar. We have met before, yes? So you will be taking him home then? Hmm. And if I were to say no, I will beat the feathery shit out of you. Same. Me too. Think I can't do anything because I'm just a human girl, do you? Plenty of people have regretted that before you. Take this! Acrobatic starlight kick! Oh, 
Oh my, isn't that dangerous? You've knocked a hole in the floor, young lady. I'd rather think a direct hint might leave my beautiful plumage disgracefully singed. He dodged it? He's in better shape than that affordimulated fluffy heretic. Oh wait, are you trying to say the doctor? Yeah. I feel no arching you, but your physical ability holds value. It is beautiful. That's the flamboyant heretic happily praises me. Oh, stop our blush. Yo, he focus. He's hurting my birdie. Do something useful. Before I send you to the corner. All right, all right. Wait, no. I am Yui of St. Pigeon Nations. I would defeat you and bring my classmate back with me. Haha, <laughs> gallant indeed. Prepare yourself for the end, Mr. Whatever your name is. Did you just call me? Oh yeah, didn't he say I wasn't allowed to call him by the wrong name? Yeah. Uh-oh. Did I? Maybe I did. Jeez, between you and Mr. Nanaki, a girl just can't get away with a little slip of the tongue around here. And I believe this is the second time you've done so, is it not? Uh-oh. Whoopsie. I mean, Mr. Blah Blah Blah's cheerful tone of voice is suddenly gone. His words more barely audible. This must be what they call the calm before the storm. You are still a child, so perhaps you do not know. Do you understand what a serious offence is to misspeak someone's name? No, but then again, get whatever you got in my little bird out, and then we can talk about your goddamn name. Or your name's going to be dead birdie soon. Particularly my name. My name is special, really. It'll be dead birdie in five minutes. Because I am special. Yes, you are a special pain in the ass, from boy into butt. Could you please... My bird! Hand me my bird, please. It's the only name of its kind. Can you what? hear that? Apparently. I don't care what your name is. Tori. This is the... name. I know. This is the worst affront imaginable. Did I not tell you I would make you wish you would never crawl your miserable way into the world if you misspoke it again? Yes, well, bring it, birdie. A flash fills the room as he shouts. What? What's happening? Wow! What the fuck? The room's what almost stabbed. Yeah, what did he do that for? Good thing I got on Jill and got out of the way. I could have been vaporised. Thunder? That can't be it. Some sort of laser weapon? I would rather you did not think of it some lowly laser beam. Eh? What oh my fuck? god, he named it after himself! <sighs> Masterpiece X768 Optical Ordinance Imaginable Ray! Yes, can I point out he's actually part of like making weapons and stuff, biological weapons, he's part of the project. Oh, oh, see. But his his weapons have a really bad habit of breaking with you way around. Is the ultimate weapon utilizing young Angel's unique physical pro <gasps> You made it out, my birdie. Oh my god. I will kill Idiot. you. Idiot. Is not is it not beautiful? Angel's physical properties? He must be talking about that. That thing where he draws other people into his fantasies when he gets excited. Oh, there are two birds attached to the laser. What the hell? What is this? This what must violate some sort of basic avian rights. I suppose this is Ray's first introduction. Very well, I shall explain. The pheasant inflates his chest and begins his lecture. Rice yourselves, everybody. Get your treats ready. This is going to be a long one. <coughs> I have my drinks. He was angry up until a minute ago, but now he's talking about his creation. He seems pretty happy. Is his personality that simple? <clears throat> the factor behind Higari's ability is to draw those around him into a mass hallucination is abundant in his blood. 